Welcome to Vlogmas Day 2 and this is the makeup look which I'm going to create today. So I'll take you through everything from prep to foundation, concealer, eye makeup and also lipstick and you'll see close up what I look like without any makeup on which is quite scary but I thought no be brave. Um, so let's go and have a look at how I created this. So let's start off with me just getting my hair out of the way and then the first thing I'm going to do is put on some moisturiser. <clears throat> this is by em Embryolisse. Everything which I use I will put um, a link to below. So I'm just going to put some moisturiser on. Now I just want to say I am not a makeup expert by any means. Um, I like to think of myself as a guinea pig. <laughs> so I'm going to be trying out lots of different makeups over the weeks and months. Um, and this makeup that I'm putting on today is one that I generally use every day. So I'm just going to make sure that's all in. Then I'm going to put on some sun cream. I know it's December but it's really important to wear sunscreen all round and this is by Ultraviolet. So some sunscreen and I, I would say I've learnt most of what I'm going to show you today from the incredible Lisa Aldridge and her amazing YouTube channel. So I'll put a link to it below. You just have to go and watch it. She is just such an incredibly talented makeup artist. And yeah, I just love her, the style of her videos. And yeah, so do follow her. Right, now on to a primer. And I'm not using very much product here, it's just a little base. And this is, I would probably do this most days actually. Depends on how much time I have. If I'm doing a video, then I would definitely do all of this. But it's quite a simple makeup. And maybe it's something you could do every day or if you're going into the office. Um, just wiping my hands off. So that's my bases done. Now, something which Lisa has taught me is to put some highlighter on now. So this is her highlighter, this is Crystal Nebula. So I'm just going to put a little bit on before, here on my cheekbones, before I put my foundation on. Um, and you'll see that I like to use my fingers a lot. So, put that on and then I don't know about you but I have I'm really conscious about the wrinkles underneath my eyes and these lovely dark circles <laughs> so I'm always trying to find ways of um, hiding them really. So I've got this new product again by Embryolisse, again recommended by Lisa, and it's just to sort of add a bit of moisture to under the eye. So I'm going to pat that in. And now it's time for foundation and I'm not sponsored by Lisa Eldridge but it's her foundation. Um, I'm just going to apply one pump to start off with and see how I get on with that. Now sometimes I put, use a brush and sometimes I don't. Um, I actually put on last night some Tan Lux facial tanning sort of lotion so that I didn't frighten you too much with my very pale skin. <laughs> So I've got a little bit more colour than I normally would have. I'm going to put another pump of that on the back of my hand. Where do I need to go? Right. More 
right around here. Normally, when I put makeup on downstairs, I use them. I've got a big mirror right in front of me, and then I've got this mirror that I'm using here, but the magnifying side of it, because my eyesight is <laughs> not as good as it used to be. So I might turn this around just to check that I'm happy with everything. So I'll rub that in. I think we're good. Right, so that was two pumps of her base. And I really like it because it, it just feels like skin. It's not cakey and you don't need any powder. So that's my foundation done. Now I'm having a bit of an experiment with concealers and I've been buying lots of different, lots, a few different concealers lately because I want to try and do a video for you on ones that don't go all cakey and settle in your creases. So I'm really experimenting at the moment. If you've got any that you can recommend to me, then please do let me know. But I think one of the things that I tend to do, which is wrong, is that I put too much product on. And I know Lisa's a great believer in less is more. So I'm going to try this one. Let me just check what the name is of this one. This one is Revolution Pro. So I'm going to, I've got quite a bit of darkness in here in my inner eye. I'm just going to turn this around again so I can see properly. So in my inner eye, it's quite dark. And underneath my eye, it's very dark as well. So I'm just trying to lighten that up as much as I can. funny how when you age that that part of your well not everybody but um, many people find that they get dark in there very odd but yep so I think that's hmm that's doing a bit of a better job I've also got a, what's called a thread vein in here, which I'm just trying to cover up now. Um, and this, I had another one before in the same area and um, I had it removed. And they said, oh, it's very likely they'll come back again. I was like, great. <laughs> so it has come back a little bit, but not as bad as it was. Right, I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer around my nose with this cold weather we've been having. I'm finding that I'm blowing my nose quite a bit. So, I'm just going to move that. Okay. Yeah, I definitely need my um, close-up mirror. Okay, so that's a bit better. Next up is eye makeup and it's, I'm just going to show a really, really, really simple look. So I'm using this Charlotte Tilbury um, eyeshadow. I've used oh, quite a lot of it already. I'm going to start off with sort of a, a light, see that? A sort of light brown and just sweep it all over. I'm just going to turn this around. You see that? So I'll never forget, I actually went and had um, at Phoenix a makeup session a few years ago now. And the makeup artist said to me, when you're putting your eyeshadow on, think of it like a sort of windscreen motion, just so that you blend and blend and blend and blend it in. And I've often think about her. I think her name was Freya Barker, I think. I don't know if she's still there. Um, but that was a really lovely experience. So I'm just going to smooth her in. That's making a bit of a wobble over there. Um, <laughs> 
misbehaving bottle. So something which, again, <laughs> when you get older, some of us find that we get hooded eyes. So this sort of skin here sort of moves further down and I am constantly trying to find ways of disguising that, I think is the right way to say it. Um, and so I've been experimenting quite a bit recently. And yeah, if, if it's just me at home or I'm just going out shopping, then this is all the eye makeup I would do. But if I wanted to make a bit more effort, um, then what I would do is, let me just get the right brush, okay. I would put one of the, the darker shades, so this one, sort of just here. So looking forward, just in here, just sort of to try and bring some shadow to the eye. Again, I've learned this from Lisa. I just want to make sure that I'm blending it properly. So just looking straight forward, just in there. So can we see any difference? The $60 million question. Yeah, I think we can actually. So if I look at you now, can you see that this eye looks, there's less hooded, just slightly, a little less hooded, because um, I've given it a bit of shade. So I'm gonna do the same to this eye now. Okay, it's so, <laughs> it's the first makeup tutorial I've done, well, tutorial. The first makeup demo I've done, should I say. And um, it really gives you so much respect for people like Lisa, trying to look at the camera, look at your makeup and make sure that you're happy with the results. So I'm just gonna put this up so I can see a bit better. Right, then what I would do is I, I don't use eyeliner as a pencil very much at the moment, um, but I'm going to take this really tiny brush and go into the darker eyeshadow there. And I'm just going to go over the top. So just a light sweep. And then I'm just going to go very, very, very lightly underneath. And now you can see the difference that that makes. So on the other eye. And then lightly underneath. Okay, I'm just gonna look, make sure I'm happy with that. Right. If you go too far, I've just got an, a little um, earbud. I'm just going to go over there. Okay. Right, next up is eyelashes. And I always, always, always curl my eyelashes. So I won't show you too much. You don't need to see that. I'm going to curl them. And then something which I learned from Lisa is I've got two different types of mascara. So one goes on the top. Um, this one's actually by Clarins. I'm just going to put this one on the top. It's got quite a chunky brush. And then on the bottom lashes, I've got this really tiny, tiny thin brush and that works really well on getting all of 
the lower lashes covered. Okay, now onto eyebrows, and this is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. So first of all, I always sort of give them a bit of a tidy up, and I have them threaded at the Blink Brow Bar um, nearby in John Lewis. Oh, made a little bit of a mess again. There you go. And then just going to fill them in. I don't always go for a really heavy, heavy look. I am going to have them um, tinted soon because I get the occasional grey hair. <laughs> um, I'm just likely going to go through those. It's mostly here at the front that they need a bit of assistance. And then I just brush through again. Okay, and then I put a gel just to keep them as much as possible in place. Sometimes it puts way too much on. I think that means a sign that I need to um, get a new one. We know when it gets all gloopy. Yeah, it's much, much, much too gloopy. Yeah. Need to go shopping, I think. That is not a good look. <laughs> okay. Little um, problem there. But not to worry, I'm just going to brush it through. That's fine. Okay, right. Now on to blusher. And I've got a cream blusher. So I'm just going to apply it with my fingers. And this one is actually by Beauty Pie. And I think, and my lovely eyelashes keep on falling down. Okay. So something which Lisa, I thought she in one of her videos earlier today while I was having my breakfast actually, and something that she said is really important is to, depending on what kind of look you're going for, but is to keep your blusher quite high up. So that's what I'm doing. Maybe a little bit more there. I'm just going to move that. Then I'm going to apply a little bit of contour, only a little, not much at all. So this is the shade that I'm using and just going to do it just to add a little bit of colour. Right, finally, it's lipstick time. And yes, it's by Lisa Eldridge. Now, admittedly, this color I probably wouldn't wear just every day, but I'm going to record a video in a second, so I wanted to put on something quite bright. So just a final check. Yeah, and that's it. If I take my hair out and 
that is the final look. So I hope you like this look and have enjoyed watching me through and that you've maybe picked up a tip or two. If you have gained value from the video, it'd be wonderful if you'd like to like or subscribe or, or comment too. I'll see you again tomorrow.